Welcome to Oka's Channel, thanks for watching today. Let's talk about the Nintendo 64, and in particular, a brand new Nintendo 64 that's set to come out in year 2024. And yes, that is a lot of fours in one intro. But this new system is not made by Nintendo or anything like that. This system is made by a company called Analog. And if you uh, follow retro gaming or the community, pretty much at all, Analog is going to sound really familiar to you. Because what they do is they take the idea of old systems like the NES or the SNES or the Sega Genesis or the Game Boy or Game Gear and now the N64. And they basically say those systems cannot be outputted on a new HD or 4K TV. You can only output those on a CRT TV. And uh, if you try to put on a brand new TV, you get significant lag and the graphics are not going to look uh, very good at all. So what Analog does is they basically build a brand new hardware system to play these old games and they can render them in better graphics, either 1080p or an N64 case, 4K on a brand new HD TV with zero lag or about the same amount of lag you would experience on like a next generation console. So what Analog is basically selling you here is a way to play old N64 games on a brand new TV with 4K graphics and no lag. And um, for old N64 players, this is a really cool deal because uh, lag can make a huge difference on games like Super Smash Brothers or Mario Kart or even like some of the shooters like Goldeneye. And uh, who doesn't want better graphics on it as well? But let's sort of dive into exactly what Analog is doing here and uh, their whole plan behind it. Now they're gonna call it the Analog 3D and it says the future is here, 64 bits of pleasure. And of course you have to notify when it's available. It's, they're gonna open up pre-orders. You have to get in on the pre-orders. And there is some controversy like when their pre-orders open up, if everyone can get their pre-order in. But that's a, a different story for a different day. And it says wireless Bluetooth 2.4G, Four original style controller ports, completely engineered in FPGA and an analog operating system, so no emulation here. So it's all done on the hardware side instead of trying to basically have software emulate these games, have better graphics, and then display through a, a HDMI cable. All of this is done hardware side and not emulation. And um, that can make a big difference as far as like um, lag and things like that. And then it says a reimagining of the N64, 4K resolution, original display modes, and then reference quality recreation of specific model CRTs and PVMs. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what a PVM is, but CRTs, obviously the old TVs. And if you want it to look like that, you can actually make it look very similar to how it would have looked, except now you're gonna play it on an HD TV. And it says the first and only aftermarket solution supporting 100% compatibility in every region, USA, EU, and Japan. And this is gonna be coming in 2024. Now the question here is, is what exactly is the system going to look like? And all they've shown here is this little bitty corner of what's gonna be the N64. And you can see it's got sort of the uh, same original slant as the N64. Uh, assuming we're looking at it from the front and sort of on the left-hand side. But um, that's not really telling us a whole lot. But the controller for this is not even gonna be like an original N64 controller or at least like the same shape of it. They're actually gonna go with what's called the Brawler 64 style. And um, they didn't really display a full image on their page here. But if you just simply highlight it, you can actually sort of pull out from the shadows a little bit exactly what the controller looks like. And you can see here, it's gonna definitely be more along the lines of the Brawler 64 with a joystick on the left-hand side and the D-pad down below that to the bottom right. And the Z button will of course now be a shoulder trigger as well. And um, I know a lot of people actually prefer this controller, especially if they're playing like Smash Brothers and things like that. Personally, I actually like the old N64 controller, but I understand like most people do not. And so it's probably a good idea going with the 8-bit uh, do um, Brawler 64 controller that they're going to go with. Now, as far as like price point goes, I'd say they're probably gonna go with like 299 based on like what their older systems sold for and it's being a little bit more advanced than those. But, um, you know, that's not been released yet, so that's just like my personal speculation on there. Now, as far as like controversy on this goes, some people are confused when they say like 4K resolution. Does this mean it's gonna be like actual like rendered in 4K and displayed on your TV? Or it can be like rendered at 240p and then upscaled to 4K and displayed on your TV. And either way, you're gonna have a better looking N64, but one is definitely gonna be better than the other. And I'm sure eventually they're gonna give all the details about this, but at least right now, you just got a lot of N64 fans at least wondering and questioning the product um, in this early stages of it. And then there's also the question of like who exactly is the system designed for? Because there's like less than 400 N64 games out there across like all regions. And so it's like, how many people out there are going to want to buy a brand new N64 for like three to $400 probably in order to play their games upscaled to 4K when they could probably already do that through like emulation or in some cases, like maybe not 4K anyway, but through like Nintendo Switch Online. And so like there's other options to play these games if you want to have them upscaled, you know, with almost no lag. And so um, I'm not sure how many people are going to actually want to spend this much money on a system with so few games and so few games that have like a tournament scene around them. 
I mean, you have like, you know, Super Smash Brothers, but I mean, the N64 one, as much as I love it, there's not like a huge tournament scene for that particular version of the game. Same thing for like Mario Kart or some of the puzzle games or some of the sports games. And so I just don't know if there's like a big enough scene to actually want to purchase this. I mean, there's the speedrunners out there, but the speedrunners, I'm not sure if they're going to actually consider this part of the original community because then it's going to be a little bit of a different lag on it, you know, upscaled graphics. Who knows if you're going to bring like a new system of glitches in there. And so, um, I don't know. I mean, like, I like the idea of it. It just simply seems like there's already good options out there for this if you want to play upscaled games on HDTV. And um, if you want a true N64 experience, just simply have an old CRT TV for that. And so, I don't know. I like the idea of it. I like the idea that they're, you know, supporting old retro games. But at the same time, like, the price point for it, I'm just not really sure how many people are going to jump for this particular system here outside of like scalpers and things like that if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to the channel comment down below if you're thinking about pre-ordering the n64 i'm sorry the analog 3d from analog's website here um you know what your thoughts are on upscale n64 are you excited for it do you think this is the best option for it let me know all that in the comments down below and as always go out there find a great game to play simply have a great rest of the day